my amazing subscriber, Yaya. Good morning, guys. Hope you are doing well. Welcome to the start of a brand new vlog. Uh, you would have seen me this morning kind of like being chaotic, um, packing my bags because I'm moving into my own Airbnb today, but now we're with the crew. Ransom, Dennis, Papa. Mrs. Rombauer is here with our tour guide. And we're on our way to the Louvre. We got a private tour, so this will be kind of fun. I actually haven't been to the actual museum in years, even though I like have been to Paris a few times. Usually when I come, I don't really do the Louvre. I do like the smaller museums. Um, so I'm excited to do it and get like, you know, a private um, view of it. And someone who actually knows <laughs> what's going on. So. I'll take you guys with me and hopefully we'll be able to see some cool stuff. I know we're gonna go to like the main track of all of like the most popular things. Mona Lisa. Yeah, yes, you know, all of like the big ticket items. And then I think we wanna go see the like decorative arts and things like that, so like furniture and stuff. Square, and I'm like, well, I feel like I've seen this before, and it's where the Louis Vuitton show happens. They have, I think they've had the show here a few times, but that's so cool. That I, that would be amazing to see a fashion show in this space. Like, what a dream, a dream. Okay, so we just finished at the museum. It was so nice during the private tour. Um, the lady was like so informative. There are so many like little things that you would never get if you didn't have like a private tour guide. So definitely recommend if you can getting one. And it wasn't. I feel like ransom. And my dad said it was like, what, 100 euros a person or something? Um, I think it was a bit more, but totally worth it. It was definitely worth it, yeah, totally worth it. Because like, They're otherwise... They're very accommodating for what yeah, you want to see. Yeah, exactly. And then also like, you, um, you don't get lost. I feel like so much of going through big museums like that is like getting lost trying to figure out where you're going to go. Oh, and totally. And there's none of that. Like the person knows... You just knows go straight to the main attraction. Yeah, they're like, okay, you want to go here? It's right here. It's this way. This way. Turn this way. Turn that way. Um, but it was really good. But now we're going to... Get some noshes at Wild in the Moon. Some little like cute little vegan. Is it all vegan or is it just like All vegan, vegan, all gluten free, yeah. and no plastic. All oh. their like Tupperware is like plant yeah. biodegradable. Yeah, so, so we're gonna head there trendy. and get a little bite. I actually haven't eaten yet. Um, also, oh, also, I don't know if I told you guys, but I went out last night, like a <laughs> big deal, because I'm like a grandpa. I went out last night to like, like Four in the morning, didn't go to sleep till like 5 30, and then woke up at 8 because I had to pack to re, um, like to move again to the new Airbnb. And so I'm kind of dying, but um, I think this food is definitely gonna help. <laughs> Okay, so we're, we're back with, if you remember, Brennan from an old vlog. I'll link it up above, but we went um, thrifting. And it was actually super chaotic, but actually, I ended up getting this one the blue. Oh, from last year? Yeah, from like, like two years ago. Oh my god, it is. But now we're just getting a coffee um, because I'm literally so dead because you know I went out last night. But I just want to come and like, check in. But my camera's about to die, so that's gonna be it. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay guys, so I just got to my second Airbnb. No, yeah, second Airbnb, the one that's just me. And it is literally so cute, I have to show you. Literally the photos, they were amazing. And like, I was like, I'm kind of afraid they weren't gonna like, the place wasn't gonna be as cute. Um, because the photos like this kind of look too good, but no, it lives up to the hype. Okay, let me just, let me figure out how to turn on all the lights and I'll show you. Okay, so you walk in. And here's like a little closet and a mirror. Um, also, I never showed you guys what I was wearing, but I'm just wearing like this black um, turtleneck sweater, which is from, I think, W Concepts. The blazer is thrifted. The jeans are, you know, my favorite Zara jeans. And the shoes are my new um, Nikes, which I just got like in this like suede material. And I love. But anyway, this is when you first walk in, you get this mirror. Then you have this like, beautiful like kind of room divider and this like marble counter then you walk over here and then you have 
the like little dining table you have this like amazing little couch another little table here and then the bed is here and it has like it's like super modern like look at these sconces how cute are these sconces like what uh you have like this little painting that is on top of the couch and then if you go over here you can see the view of Pari, a nice little pharmacy there um and then like this main street is really cute because it has like a bunch of like little like restaurants and shops and stuff but then really the best part of this whole place oh well wait before i get there here's the kitchen we have an espresso machine we have the fridge which is kind of like hidden um and then we have the dish had the dishwasher which we love and then um just like a few cabinets and pantries and stuff but the real part of this airbnb which is amazing is the bathroom so it's a full marble bathroom you have this it's like this green tile like backsplash type of thing and then this beautiful like yeah ovular mirror um a marble sink these like wooden uh cabinets and then this like full marble shower with the green tiles as well and it's literally just like so chic and parisian and i'm obsessed i'm literally obsessed i'm about to like take off these clothes get into something comfortable and then chill because i literally like am so tired i've gotten a total of maybe like five hours of sleep over the last 48 hours um, and I need to take a little bit of a nap before I edit the next vlog and do a little bit of work um, and I'm just gonna have like a chill at night at home so I'll probably see you guys tomorrow but um, if not maybe I'll see you later in the day if I go out to like get food or something by myself but yeah see you soon good morning it is Sunday it's like 9 45 and I have a workout at 10.30, so I'm gonna go to that soon, but I just like made a coffee. I got an espresso pots last night. Um, so I just made a coffee. Last night was my first night in the new Airbnb. It's so cute. It was a little loud because the street is like popping. It was a Saturday yesterday, so like the street was popping last night. I ended up going to sleep super early. I think I went to like 7.30 p.m. It was supposed to be just like an hour nap, but um, I ended up waking up at like 1 a.m. Clearly just slept through that alarm. I was exhausted. And then I had like a moment of weakness when my friends were going out and then like some other people we met out when we went out on Friday night like messaged me and said, oh, we're going here. And I'm like, oh, do I go? I'm like, oh, no, Jay, go back to sleep. So I went back to sleep, but it was like, when I woke up at like one, it was like people all outside. Um, so it's like a fun street. So definitely like um, really like this area. I'm in the sixth uh, still. So St. Germain de Pre. But yeah, I'm going to this workout today. Then I'm going to Lavendu again um, with my dad. And this is girlfriend's in town, so um, she's, she's never been before, so we're gonna go that, to that, the three of us. And then, um, I don't know what my plans are for the rest of the day. I actually need to probably do some work, edit this vlog. Also, like, I have so much content I've been taking on my phone and stuff, and like, like Instagram stories, reels, TikToks that like, I have not edited just in my fullness <laughs> and so I think I'm gonna do that today too um kind of just have like a chill Sunday and then we have dinner planned tonight at like this new restaurant that just opened it's a new hotel that just opened and there's also a restaurant inside that's supposed to be like really famous it's in Italy they also just opened one here in this hotel so we're doing that too yeah it's to be kind of just like a like a chill day not like big um, like to do like we did with the Louvre yesterday so it should be pretty kind of lax it's kind of eating working out a little bit of work, and then eating again. So it sounds like a pretty typical day, um, a weekend in my life, but I'll, I'll take you along with me today too. I don't know what, I honestly don't even know what vlog this is gonna be. Um, I think it's a continuation of just like my part three Paris vlog, like weekly vlog. Who knows, who knows? I'm like, need to have some of this coffee come to life and then we can kind of go from there. Oh. That first sip always hits. Okay, quick OOTD before I head out the door, and I'm literally already late, so I really shouldn't even be doing this. But but I'm wearing um this Zara uh like sweater vest um with the, with this like brown detailing on the like V-neck, which I really love. Um, just like a black T-shirt. I think it's from Uniqlo. Um, the pants are 
La Marie, La Mer. I still don't know how to actually say this brand, but they're super, super high waisted. Um, so like, I'm really sucking in here. And I'm wearing my um, Dior B27 sneakers on the feet. And that's the look. And then I have all my um, workout clothes in, where is my bag? In my off-white laundry bag. And I'll like change when I get to the cycling studio. Then I'll shower afterwards and change back into these clothes. But this is just like an easy way for me to like still not like be able to be dressed and I have to come all the way back home and change, you know? Um, I've gotten good at this whole like going to work out and then like going to do things after. Um, Soul Cycle has trained me well. But yeah, I'm gonna head out now. I just like down this coffee and then I think I'm actually gonna scooter because if I walk, I may not make it in time. So I think I'm gonna scooter or bike. It should take me like 10 minutes. Hey y'all, so I just finished class. Um, it was really good. This instructor is really good. But it's like a weird thing where like, I thought I had one bike, but then I guess someone had taken my bike. Maybe it's like I didn't sign in or something, but I had to move to another bike, which wasn't as good. But still, the class was amazing. Um, and now I'm walking to L'Avenue. Um, and I'm walking on uh, St. Honoré, I think that's how you say it. Um, but I feel like I'm on the street every single day. That's why I got my new bracelet. Um, but yeah, I'm just walking through, doing a little window shopping, and then I'm going to meet my dad for lunch. So that's where I'm heading off to now. Same thing I got last time, so it was just good. I'm like I'm really on a lot of kick these days. And then after I think we're gonna like walk, what are we gonna do? Like walk around, mm. walk around, I'm in Mont Um maybe go see the Arc de Triomphe because it's wrapped right now. Um, and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do some work and edit. I think this vlog, maybe the vlog before. Um, yeah, just wanted to give you a little update on what's happening. But I'm gonna eat now. Hello, from a few hours later, I just got ready. I'm headed to my dad's birthday. Well, it was like his like pre-birthday dinner, like the Rombauers, and then um, his girlfriend is here, and we're going to, uh, I forget the name of the hotel. It just opened, it's like, supposed to be like really nice. They have them like all over the world. It attached to the Samarta like shopping center, which you guys would have seen like a, a previous vlog. I'm wearing like a super like simple outfit, like just a white button up top from Nordstrom, I believe. The pants are these kind of like nylon dress pants. I'm sorry the lighting's so bad. Like these nylon dress pants, and I believe they're actually from, I think they're from Nordstrom's too, or actually they're either Nordstrom's or Suit Supply. Like all my black dress pants like look the same, not that exciting. Um, <laughs> but, and then I'm wearing my Dior um, like boot dress shoes, the ones that have like the little detachable thing here. And then I'm gonna wear my blazer, one second, let me get that. And I'm gonna wear this blazer um, as well, just to kind of like pull the whole look together. But just like, you know, like a dressy outfit for dinner. It's like this um, Italian place, it's like, it's really famous. There's one in Venice, and this is the first one outside of Venice at this hotel. Uh, what's the name of it? It's like Chant Chamon. Blanc, Chamon Blanc, I don't know. I'll, I'll like put it right here. Um, but yeah, this is the look and I'm about to head out. Hopefully it doesn't rain because the forecast said it was supposed to rain, but luckily this Airbnb has an umbrella. So that's clutch. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys at dinner. I probably won't vlog too much, but I'll include any clips that I do get. Last time I saw you guys, we were at the birthday dinner for my dad with the Ron Bowers. Um, it was their last night, last night, and now they just left this morning and now it's just me, my dad, and his girlfriend. They leave tomorrow and then I'm here in Paris for 
um, the rest of the week by myself, which I'm kind of excited for. Get a little bit of alone time. I have alone time in this room, which has actually been great. I was sharing like the Airbnb with my dad and my sister before. Anyway, last night's dinner was so good. The Hotel Cheval Blanc, I believe is the name of it, was so nice. It just opened like a week ago. And the restaurant I went to was like this Italian place and it was so good. I didn't like bring my volume camera, but I got some clips which you guys would have seen. And the food was really good. The, like, the decor and just like the service and everything was great. But today is my dad's actual birthday. So I have like this whole day planned for him. Who is messaging me? I have this whole day planned for him. Right now we're about to go to the peninsula for breakfast and we're going there because I got him for his birthday gift like a spa day at the Four Seasons um, George Dordfonk and so he has that scheduled oh my god wait one, one second let me figure out who this is it wasn't even anything exciting it was an Instagram notifications we're going to breakfast at the peninsula and then he has an appointment at the Four Seasons for um, like a spa day I got him like two treatments like one of the like two of the signature treatments it's like a body and it's like a face treatment so he has that at 12.30 and then um, he's going to that and I'm going to peel off and I have to do some work before we have dinner at 9 at this restaurant, Hotel Cur Don't know the name, but it's supposed to be really nice. He really likes it. He went with my sister like a, a week ago or so um, and they loved it. So I got him a reservation for his birthday. Um, and so that is the plan. It's a spendy day for me because... I'm like paying for everything for him today, but you know what? I, I'm like an adult now, so gotta do that for the parents. But I think he's gonna he's gonna enjoy it, and he like likes these kind of like pamper days. So I think it's gonna be nice for him. But I'm about to just get dressed. But I quickly want to show you guys what I'm gonna be wearing. So I think I'm just gonna do um, this like black and white cap, which I've got, which I wear all the time. You've seen me in this so many times. But this is from um, Alien, that Korean fashion store in Williamsburg um, and then I'm gonna wear these thrifted um, trousers which kind of have like this white detailing on them which I really like I'm sure to focus focus yeah which have like this white detailing which is really cool um, so I'm gonna wear that with um, this uh, uh, Ami sweater um, and then my Balenciaga um, track shoes also. I've really just been loving black and white these days while I'm in Paris. Very chic, very Parisian. Um, so yeah, that's the look today. It's actually like really cold today. I think it's like 59 right now. I think it should get up to like like mid 60s, but it is a little chilly and it also is like supposed to rain. But I'm also not too sure about because I don't know if I should bring an umbrella right now. I don't really want to because I don't want to carry it and I'm like notorious for losing umbrellas. So I'm not really sure if I want to do that, but that's why I kind of wear the cap. Just I don't think I'm going to bring the umbrella, but at least the cap like, protects my head <laughs> from the rain. But hopefully it doesn't rain. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold. But you can kind of see what it looks like outside. It's still kind of early, but a really nice kind of pre-fall day. <laughs> down at breakfast. We have the birthday boy here. Hello, 47. Thank you. I told him that this lighting looks good. It makes him look young. <laughs> <laughs> He's happy. But um, we just got some pastries and we this coffee is so good. We're here now and then we are like, are not in a rush, but we kind of have to like wow. hurry because his spa treatment is in what? like. An hour? Yeah. Are you excited for it? For a little pamper yeah, day? Thank you, son. I appreciate it. You're welcome. And Amara dropped a little something on it. Amara did um, contribute. Make sure, so Make sure you collect. I, I already did. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> This was did a joint gift there? from Amara and me. me. Um, and then dinner was supposed to be a joint gift from the two of us, too. But Amara just went to pick the most expensive restaurant and then leave. <laughs> so she'll just leave me with all of it. But you know what? For you, Papa, you deserve it. I deserve you it. You deserve it. Yeah. So we're on our way to the Four Seasons for his uh, spa treatment, but we, we're passing the 
the wrapped arc which is up for like the next two weeks. Amazing. Pretty cool, pretty cool. We just got this, like a, a sample of the fabric from her, so nice. Um, they're like giving out examples of what the arc is made out of. Which, like, it's, it feels like, um, kind of like that material that you get in like frozen food, like lunch boxes to keep it cold. That's what it feels like. You guys ready? Enjoy, enjoy your birthday gift. Thank you. Love you. Love you <laughs> Okay, so I just dropped my dad off at his spa treatment and now I'm about to, I think I'm going to just like run by Kith and see the sneakers just because I may pick one up, but I don't think I'm going to do like a full shop. I think I'm just going to go and look around again and then I'll go straight home and work because I kind of would rather like get my work done early and then like go out for a little bit than like rush it, be out and then have to go back home and try to like rush things and get them done um, before dinner starts. So that is my plan. Let me figure out where this kit is, because I know it is really close to here, but I will meet, oh wait, there's the Nike store. Actually, I wanted to go see that too. Actually, let me let me do that too. <laughs> oh God, is this gonna end up being like a full shopping day? Let's hope not, let's hope not. Okay, so I'm on the Champs-Elysees and here's the Nike um, House of Innovation store, which I've heard about, and I wanna go check out, see what's in there, see what's good. Uh, let me get my mask though, because you know, safety first. store was actually pretty cool. Um, it was like a pretty cool like concept store. It had like a bunch of history around all of, like the different shoes throughout the years. And also they had a really selective sneaker collection but I was on my way to Kith anyway so I like um, wanted to kind of pick something up here because I saw a pair that I liked last time that I might want to get. Yeah the innovation like Nike store was pretty cool. So that would definitely recommend but the only thing is that it's on the Champs-Elysees which is like the equivalent of like Times Square in New York. I feel like that's what that is, like so touristy. But they do have like the big um, like flagship shops there. So I definitely check it out, it was cool. But now to run into what we really came here for. I'm in the store and I came back to look at these three colors, the red, the yellow, and the black. And I'm trying to get into color, but I'm not like, the red's cool, but like honestly, like how much am I gonna wear that? But I was really looking at the yellow, but then even then I'm like, oh, it's like a color, I, I'm, I'm so neutral, so I feel like that's not really gonna be able to go with so many of my looks, but it could be a, like a cool pop. But then I'm like kind of leaning toward the black just because it's like a little different. I like the contrast stitching um, and like the black bottom, but I can't really decide. I'm gonna put a poll up on my Instagram and, and see what you guys think. Hello from later in the day. It is like around 8.30. I'm about to head out to go to my dad's birthday dinner, but I quickly want to just come and check in and tell you guys what I'm wearing. I'm actually, to be honest, not in love with this outfit. I couldn't really figure out what to wear. It wasn't like a repeat of what I wore to his birthday dinner outfit last night at the Italian restaurant, but because I didn't want to wear the blazer again, I only brought like really one blazer. I haven't done like a thrifting shop yet, so I don't have too many like more like going out clothes. I like going out like nighttime, like more formal clothes, but I tried to, I kind of put this together. So it's this white button up, cause I have like a bunch of white button ups. It's my like kind of oversized V-neck sweater vest in black. I'm wearing it with the Acne Studios um, runway pants. And then I'm kind of tying it together with these Bottega um, shoes. I think I might do my Bottega bag too, just like maybe as like an underarm clutch. Also, I think that might pull it together and also I think I want to put like my wallet and stuff in there because these pockets are kind of small. Um, I don't want like my things bulging out. So that is the look. I don't think I'm going to bring my camera because I kind of want to be a bit more um, hands free tonight, but I'll vlog as much as I can on my phone. We're going to Hotel Costas, I think that's how you say it. It's by the same hotel group as the restaurant I went to with my friends, uh, La Society, also La Venue, which I've been to like, what, three times since I've been here. Um, and you guys have seen on this vlog, and I think the previous vlog, it's by that same group. So I know it's, it's gonna be good. I hear it's really fun. Um, they play like really good music. So that's where we're heading tonight for the birthday dinner. But just quickly want to check in, um, say hey to you guys, and I'll see you guys when I get there. Good morning. 
and happy Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. I just got dressed and I'm about to head off to go meet a friend who is actually it's an old coworker when I was an intern at an old agency who I like bumped into like a few days ago and he's in Paris right now so we're going to get coffee. I mentioned it in one of my previous vlogs um, but yeah so we're going to meet up right now. We're going to the really cute cafe Kitsune that's like on Place Royale. So we're going there but I'm just quickly wanted to like check in, say hey, birthday dinner last night was like really good. Hotel cost, um, it was like, the vibe was awesome. Um, but funny enough, hotel cost, l'avenue, la society, or la society, I don't know how you say it. All of them are owned by the same like restaurant group, but they literally have the exact same menu. Like, I'm not kidding, like the menu is the same at each place. They don't even really try to change it. Like, they like, it'll say, egg white omelet on one menu and it says white omelet on another or it'll say extraordinary snails on one menu and then they'll just say snails on another menu but it's like the order of the food and the food itself is actually the same which is so funny because it's literally the true definition of you going to the restaurant for like the atmosphere because each one has a totally different vibe but it's just funny because like when you look at the menu it's like i was looking and i was like this looks exactly the same and then i, I compared oh got some trash people close us I was, I like compare it and it's now it's literally exactly the same menu, which is funny. So if you're going for like a diverse range of food, I would maybe go to all three of those places. But if you're just looking for like really cool, um, like vibe, like cool restaurants in the city while you're in Paris, um, they're awesome. But I, thought, I had to tell you that because it was just so funny when you realized last night. Um, I'm about to just run to this coffee, but I quickly want to show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing my new Acne Studios cardigan for the first time. Um, you can see it, it's like super oversized. You saw it in like one of my recent shopping vlogs um, and like my Zara in Acne Studios fall haul. Um, underneath I have this brown um, button up, which I got thrifted. The pants are my like wide leg Zara pants that I love. Um, they're kind of high-waisted, but you know, I'm like in high-waisted pants right now. Um, and then the shoes are my Nike Air Force Ones, the Acorn colorway, um, which I have an unboxing for if you haven't seen them. But that's the look, and I'm about to run off. Um, it's a bit chilly today, so it's like 55 degrees. So I'm actually kind of happy because I was able to whip this guy out. Um, but I'm about to go over to this coffee, and I'll see you guys when I get there. <laughs> from my coffee with my old coworker, which I realized I didn't like really film anything of. I like filmed like on my way there, I filmed the park, the Palais Royale, which is so pretty, cafe like outside, but I realized I didn't actually film anything with the two of us. We were just too busy talking. Um, we might do like a museum day um, in the next week while I'm here, but right now I am back in the Airbnb and I just made some Indian food. I know this is like really not flattering, but <laughs> I, made, I made some Indian food that I got from M&S, made it on my little kitchen, um, and now I'm just eating it and watching Clara Chanel, who I'm getting back into. I really love her vlogs, um, so I'm watching her right now, and then just having this little lunch. I start my work day really at like four, it's when I originally like it starts, like three, four. I have some other work and projects that I'm working on that I probably should get started on, but I'm actually kind of tired, and I feel like I might want to take a little nap after like eating this just to make sure I'm not like completely dead um, at around like six or seven, like midway through the workday. So I may do that. Otherwise I really have no plans today. So this might be like the end of this part of the vlog. That is what's up right now. I feel like I've been talking too long. I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Good morning, everyone. It is a brand new day. I'm back in my army sweater again. It's cold out, it's like 50 degrees, but uh, I'm just running out the door. It is... 8.25, um, I'm going to meet my dad at the Four Seasons for breakfast. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but he, his bougie ass, um, left the Airbnb and decided to go to the Four Seasons for um, like his final night here before he goes off to the south of France with his girlfriend. So he stayed there last night, and so I'm going to meet him there, and we're going to get breakfast, and then he's going to head off to Provence. Yeah, so that's like the plan. Oh, also, I he has like some of my like dirty clothes that I washed at his Airbnb because the Airbnb had a washer. Um, so I have to go pick those up too. Um, and then I'm probably going to like maybe walk around. I might maybe hit up like a workout class or something. It's in what, 
Wednesday, so I have work like around like three. I didn't get that much sleep, so I may come back here and take a nap too. I don't know. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do next. First things first is I need to go there, get breakfast, say bye to him, and I'll take you guys with me. So well, let's go. Um, quick little O to you before I head out the door though. I have on my army sweater. Um, I have on my like military cargo pants that I got thrifted, um, and then I'm wearing my Doc Martin um, white boots. And that is the look. Very military vibes. Oh, and I'm going to bring my, um, because I have to pick up my <laughs> dirty clothes. Well, they're clean clothes now. I'm going to take this Calvin Klein um, backpack, nylon backpack, which I got, like, on crazy sale. This is, like, when um, he, uh, who was it? Raph Simmons was doing Calvin Klein. This bag was originally, like, I think, like, $900. I think I got it for, like, 300 or, like, 200 Such a good price. Um, but I love it. It's, like, a nylon backpack. It's super, um like durable um, and it has these like really nice leather straps I mean, just it's simple it's like a simple drawstring backpack but I'm, it, I get so much use out of it um, and so I'm gonna take this with me and I'm gonna put all my clothes in there once I get there <laughs> seasons for breakfast um, this is actually the place I tried to get the us five. They call it the, five. the five this is the place Sank. I tried to get um, us to get breakfast for his spa day but um, they only let hotel guests like have breakfast here because of like COVID and stuff um, but now that they're hotel guests we actually got to come so I'm excited um, the breakfast actually looks good I'm debating between like the waffle and the crepe so my crepe just came and it's way more food than I expected um, <laughs> like three full pieces. Probably should have had less bread <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I just left my dad and his girlfriend at Four Seasons. They're off to the south of France and they go on their little traveling adventure. So I'm now solo in Paris, but I just stopped by the Celine store, the men's store right across from the avenue on Avenue Montaigne. I had the most amazing sales associate. Her name was, um, ooh, I'm forgetting her name. Uh, started with an M. Her card is in the bag, but she was so nice. We walked through the whole store. I looked at a bunch of stuff. I'm about to go to a workout class, so I like kind of was in a rush. But I think I'm gonna definitely go back because um, I tried on all the fragrances that smell really cool. Um, and she gave me a sample of like each one, like all of them, all seven. Yeah, all seven fragrances, which was so nice. So I'm definitely gonna try them out, see which one I like, and I might pick one up while I'm here, just because the the bottles are beautiful and the scents are really nice too. But I think I just need to like try and see which one I like the best. Now I'm about to head off to this Dynamo class. Good morning. How are you guys doing? It is Thursday, uh, my first full day solo in Paris. I just, to be honest, I just woke up with like a bit of anxiety because I like. Don't really know what I'm gonna do this morning. So here's the thing. I have a bunch of work to do. Like I have like, in addition to like my um, normal job, I have like these other projects I'm working on and I have like a lot of, like a big delivery we'll do on Monday. So I, in addition to like a bunch of other random stuff. And so I wanted to like do a little shopping. I wanted to go like Axel Arigato or Axel, I think it's called Axel Arigato, like the sneaker place and get like some shoes. I also wanted to go thrifting. I also like want to try out like a new cafe. But I'm not sure if I want to do that today or if I want to do that tomorrow. Um, and I also just want to eat. So like, like right now. So I'm thinking of going to Corral, which I've been to before. Um, and they have great food. Like it's in a great area, but it's next to the shops. So if I'm there, I'm like thinking, okay, if I'm gonna go eat there, maybe I should just go and do shopping now. But then I'm like, I don't know if I want to shop now. I'm not. I don't, don't know if I'm like in a shopping mood. I'm not really sure what to do. Maybe I'll just go to Correct and then figure it out there. I think I need to just like be more chill. Like I'm so anal and like try to like be so meticulous in my planning. I feel like I just need to relax. Um, but I think that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go to Correct, eat, get some caf coffee because I need to be caffeinated, um, and then figure out what my plan of attack is for the day, and then kind of just go from there. I'll take you guys along with me. Anyway, I need to get dressed. Right now I'm just in like a black tee in my sweats. But I'm gonna get dressed real quick, and then I'll see you guys once I'm dressed. I'll tell you what I'm wearing. Okay, so I've come back to life a bit. <laughs> um, I threw on this white kind of asymmetrical um, button-up that I got from A-Land, that Korean fashion brand, which I talk about all the time. I'm wearing this thrifted 
a black v-neck sweater vest and then um, I have on my Bottega bag I'm gonna throw my camera in that um, and then the pants I'm wearing are the the new ones I got from Broken Arm the Le Mer, Le Marie um, super high-waisted um, I'm not taking in my sweater right now but um, and then on on the feet we got just Dior B27s um, cuz I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking today and these are honestly one of the most comfortable shoes that's the look I'm about to run to correct um, and get some breakfast and I'll make my plan of attack there I'm like the, now that I've been talking about it I'm getting more in like a shoppy mood so let's see what happens I also realize I have to go get Amara her birthday gift I wish one of these Celine glasses, so I'm gonna go get those for her too. And that is the plan. So I just finished breakfast. I ended up sitting there for like two hours um, having a bunch of coffee. Um, and now I'm on my way to the first of many shops I think I'm gonna try and hit. The first is Freep Star, which is like, they have the best thrifted, like it's the best like thrift store here in Paris, in my personal opinion. Uh, last time I was here, that's where I got all my like best pieces, which I wear so much. Um, and they have like a bunch of different locations around the city. So I'm headed there now. Um, there are three like in like a half a mile radius to where I am. So I'm gonna try and hit up each one, see if I can find anything good. Then I'm gonna, um, I think, hit Axel Gacho for some sneakers and then see where else I should pop into um, before I have to head back to start work. amazing things. It's got a YSL bomber and Dolce & Gabbana pants for like a total of like 280 euros and I'm kind of freaking out and I'm, this is like still the beginning of the shopping day. So um, <laughs> I may have to cut it short because I'm trying to spend a gajillion dollars um, today. But now I'm going to head off to Axa Arigato to look at those uh, shoes I was kind of contemplating because they're kind of like the New Balances but they're not as like basic as the New Balances um, and they still really like have like the cool dad sneaker vibe and they, I'd be able to wear them a lot. Like you dress them up, dress them down and they're great work shoes which I feel like that's what I'm looking at a lot now since going back to the office is inevitable and <laughs> will be happening soon. So everything I buy I'm like, oh, can I wear this to work? Um, so I'm gonna head there now and it's really close um, to where I am. The street I'm on is Call it. Let me go. Let me go find the name for you guys. Cause this is like a really great area if you're looking at like. Oh, it's kind of like equated to like the Soho um, of Paris. Like the shops are like it's both high end, low end, trendy, like more like boutiquey. It's called Rue Ville du Temple. Wait, let me just, let me show you. This is the street, and there's like a lot of really great shops on here. So definitely would recommend stopping over here if you are in Paris. So I was just walking and found this place from Future and they have these amazing looking cashmere pieces. So I think I'm gonna run in and see. Like uh, it's like 119 euros for 100 percent cashmere. Like yes please. We need to find on these shoes. The store looks really nice. stop of the day is gonna be Tom Greyhound which I tried to go to like last time I was in Paris but it was closed um, and it, they have like such cool pieces and like, you know, Paris 
It is Friday, um, and I leave tomorrow, like, afternoon. Um, but I have a few errands to run today, and also, super cool and exciting, I'm actually going to meet a subscriber um, who reached out to me on Instagram who's also going to be in Paris, so that's going to be really cool. We're about to go get coffee right now at Cafe Violet, but I just wanted to come in and check in and tell you guys what I'm doing today. I'm going to have to go pick up, after I meet with him, I'm going to go pick up some gifts for friends. I have to go get a COVID test because I have to do that to travel back to the, um, New York. Um, and then I have to get back here because it's Friday, so I still have work at around like 3, 4. So that's the plan. Quickly, I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing today. I feel like I wore this out before, but um, it's this Zara sweater vest. And then I have on my Ami white shirt, which you can't actually see like the Ami logo on it because I have the sweater vest over it. But it's still like a really good thick cotton shirt, and it's kind of cold out today. I'm wearing my Zara ripped wide leg pants, and then I'm wearing the new Nikes I got from the broken arm, which you would have seen in either this video or a previous video. So I'm about to head off, but my camera has been like super finicky. I don't think I'm actually gonna bring it with me. I think I'm gonna vlog from my phone. So sorry if the quality gets a little shitty here, but hey, I'm st still gonna uh, commit to the content. Still gonna get it for y'all. Um, but just like my camera keeps going like turning on, turning off. I need to get it fixed when I get back to New York. But let's head out. So just joined by amazing subscriber Yaya who asked me to come for um, breakfast. He said it he said it thought it would be weird, but it's totally not weird. If you guys ever want to like meet up, I'm totally down for it. So <laughs> also I'm loving the whole fit. The so Dior nice. look. We got wait, we got the shoes too. We got the shoes. It's all in Dior. Nice, nice. Looking good, looking good. So we both got the French toast. Oh, hey. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it looks so good. Um, definitely need to come back here because yeah. they had so many things on the menu. The menu was 20, 20 how many? 20 pages? 21 yeah, pages. 21 long. pages, yeah, actually. It's, it's crazy. But yeah, we're about to dive into this. We're also having like the best time. Thank you so much for like reaching out. I'm Thank like, you, Jay, for being <laughs> so reachable. No, no, of course. This has been so fun. Wait, guys, guys, literally, that's Christian Louboutin that just walked by. <laughs> Are you shook? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was so that was so cool. <laughs> a fun celebrity spotting in uh, Paris. Okay, so if you notice the quality of my video just got a lot better because I'm using his phone. It's a new one. Um, wait, is this the new one or is this the older? No, this is the new one. Okay, that's the new one. Okay, wow, <laughs> even the old one is like ten times better than mine. But we are in front of what's going to be the Dior fa Paris Fashion Week show, and it just felt very fitting put because. This. He has this full Dior look on. I was telling him that he has to come <laughs> and just like stand around here on the day of the show and like get all the uh, street style photographers to take photos of him. But yeah, it's so cool. I love how like like they built this in like what I feel like three days because I was here a little bit ago and it was like still being built. They're still kind of doing. You can still see like a guy in there doing <laughs> doing some work. But on the day of the show, it'll be like a giant Dior sign. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of walking. We just went to Ami. Um, but I think this is where I'm gonna end the vlog. So it's super exciting. Thanks for joining me on another video. Um, like I said, if you guys are ever watching and like you, I, you notice I'm like in your city or you're in New York, like definitely do what he did and like yeah, hit me we up. Yeah, the time of our lives. It's been so fun. I literally have a new friend. I yeah. love it. And we passed by Christian Boutin. We who else? Jack Dorsey. Jack Dorsey. <laughs> and yeah. who else? There was someone else too. Else <laughs> I don't know, I can't, I can't keep track, but no, we've had like the best day, but yeah. um, anyway, I will see you guys on the next video. Do you want to do the... Like and subscribe, of Yes. <laughs> okay, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank B you. Bye. Bye.